Uh, hello everybody, this is a uh, trading card post. Uh, kind of a disaster going on down here. I'm one of those hoarder people that if you ever see that show that's on Annie you now, the hoarders, they should really do one for me. Because I'm like totally surrounded by like newspapers and baseball cards that I really should throw out, but meh. All right, well, two, two parts of this training card post. Number one, I the playoff contender stuff came out, and uh, I didn't know anything really about it. I have bought them in the past, like a long time ago. This is a set they've been making a while, and I bought three packs, and I got a Mark Sanchez autograph rookie, and I'm very happy with that. I've already sold it, and, you know, I got you know I made a lot of money, but I just want to comment on how freaking terrible that signature is. <laughs> A, you can't really see it. B, it looks like it's an M, like an and sign, and a bunch of loops. <laughs> but it is sign on the card, and you know. So, and the second is that I splurged on a entire Topps tribute box today. Uh, I just I I you know I, I'm less impressed with what I was expecting out of the product. You know, the older Topps tribute sets, the one they made like uh, back through the early 2000s. You know, they were all for the most part, they were all veteran players, and they had a really good checklist of like relics. And this seems to be dominated more by new guys, and that is definitely the case with my box. Cause I will show you first. Uh, you know, I got your face cards and some parallels. I got an Albert Pujols black parallel. It's pretty nice. And my relics were two out of three were older guys. I got a Reggie Jackson bat, a Mike Schmidt bat. And Joe Maurer, jersey card. Ooh. And the autographs, it's rookie dominated, basically. Well, this is the one non rookie, and it's a decent star player, Ryan Braun. And we got a Rick Porcello. And we got Tommy Hansen. Which he's actually a little bit harder to get, you know, because this. I'm a little disappointed in the product just with the checklist. You know, it seems to be a lot of Bay Roof stuff in there. I don't know if it's bats or stadium seats or what, because I've seen green Bay Roof stuff in both the T206 and uh, now this. I see green relics, so I wanted to know if it's a stadium seat. They're just not telling us that. It doesn't say. It just says memorabilia on the back, not bats. But, uh, you know, you look... A lot of these guys have four different cards in the set, like Rick Porcello, even Ligoria, Jay Bruce, Duke Snyder... Pedoria. So, you know, some of the better players only have, like, one, like, Wright, well, Wright has a bunch, uh, but Pulholz, Ryan Howard, Chipper Jones, Don Manley, they're on that triple relic autograph thing, and that's their only cards in the set, so, you know, they're kind of hard to get. And, you know, you had some of the cards that they had in the advertisements, like the Stan Musial, he's not even in, in the autograph sets, so I don't know what happened, and they have that Babe Roof, Mickey Mantle card, quad card, that's not in the set either, so... You know, but some of the dual ones are kind of nice. The dual autographs, uh, and like, you know, I, I, that Tom Seaver, Nolan Ryan one for a Mets fan, that'd be great. And I saw the Schmidt Carlton one already. I wouldn't mind having that. So that's a nice product. It just it seems to be more newer guy dominated than before. So and that was certainly the case with my box. So talk to everybody later.